noodles are just nice springy, not overcooked, not undercooked, like right in the middle where it should be. That pork lard is where it's at. You gotta get the bite of that pork lard to go with this. So you customize your bowl, you add as much chili as you like. To top it all off, they have a beautiful poached egg. are going to tackle some of our favorite noodles here in Malaysia. Starting off here in Kuala Lumpur. And make sure to stay tuned because this is a two-part series. First up, Kin Kin. We're here at our favorite chili plan B spot here in KL. And this is the iconic restaurant Kin Kin. It is the originator or the creator or the pioneer of uh, chili panis here in Malaysia. They give you this beautiful, delicious looking panini. Man, this is so good. It's my favorite. And a bowl of soup to balance it out. There's some veggies, eggs, and um, let's dig in. Chili Pan Mi is famous here in KL and it actually started right here. The spot's been here since the 80s, Kin Kin, legendary. And I just love the way they make the noodles fresh here. Your bowl the arrives. Of chili Pan Mi is here. Yeah. It's restaurant in Malaysia. Yeah, that's what we heard. It started, it started here. Yeah. Wow. First in Malaysia. The first in Malaysia. The original. The original and the creator of <laughs> Now every way in Malaysia they follow the style. But it's entirely different. Yeah. Your bowl arrives, you get the noodles, there's minced pork, there's the ikan bilis, aka the anchovies, there's fried onion in here, then you get a bowl on the side of sayur manis. It translates to sweet vegetable soup with some strands of egg in here. And then to top it all off, they have a beautiful poached egg. So soft and jiggly. Then you add in the chili as you see fit. So you customize your bowl, you add as much chili as you like. I put in about three or four scoops. I like it quite spicy, I put three scoops in there. Mix it all together, you get this beautiful mixture. Look at that. Let's take a bite. I mean, it might be my favorite noodle dish in all of Malaysia. The texture on the noodles are perfect. It's amazing they make them fresh. Got a perfect chew, slightly bounciness to them. Kind of reminds me a little bit, this whole dish reminds me a bit of Dan Dan noodles. Because you have that spiciness from the chili, you have that minced pork, you have that fried onion, it gives a nice flavor. And I love the ikan bilis, the way it gives it that salty, crunchy element. And then you have that beautiful egg that gets to that kind of creaminess to it. You mix it all together. So there's just so much going on in this dish. This is incredible. If you haven't tried chili pan mi, you have to try it. It's a must here at KL, especially here at Kin Kin. Come to the OG. Oh man. The noodle actually does remind me of Dana noodle as well, the actual noodle. It's a bit chewy, nice al dente texture, but without the mala, Sichuan peppercorn taste to it. They cook it to perfection here. Very easy to polish off at least two bowls here every time. We are at 168 here in Pudo. Wow. This wonton is my appetizer and it's so good. So here at 168, they specialize in two dishes. So as part of this big noodle video we're doing, we got we had to order both. So we got the wonton meat, we got a drive. And then we also got the curry meat. Now, we're gonna go in with this dry wonton meat first. It looks good, it's got that nice dark sauce on it. It's got very thin slices of the char siu, which we saw glistening over there. The big chunks of char siu are over there in the front. And then we also have some greens in here as well. The bean sprouts and, and you can't sleep on this. Incredible golden pork lard. All right, can't even talk about it anymore. Let's just take a bite. I don't want to take a bite without getting the whole thing. It's all clumped together. Let's go. Mm. 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 
wonton meat is cooked so well. Nice springy noodle. Um, the sauce coats it well, but I like that the sauce is not too sweet, too salty. So it's really nice balance. It's got that nice kind of a smoky flavor to it as well. Now let's, let's try that beautiful looking char siu right here. It's nice and fatty. Mm. Oh man. Char siu is excellent. It's got a really nice mix of fatty, a little lean, sweet, not too sweet. And I'm gonna mix it up a little bit, get it with the green, a little of that pork lard goodness. That pork lard is where it's at. You gotta get the bite of that pork lard to go with this. If you don't have the pork lard, unless you don't eat pork, I don't know what you're doing. Too. still pretty tired, but one whiff of this curry meat just wakes you right up. You can just smell all those spices. You can really get that strong lemongrass smell right away. It looks very rich to broth. You see it's like, it's really thick. It's got the nice orange kind of tan mixed color to it. Oh, it just smells incredible. I just want to take a sip of that broth first. Mm. Oh, it's got spicy kick to it. Really rich, creamy. It's not like that watery. Sometimes you can get in a curry laksa or curry meat. This one's really nice and rich, which I love. It's really my favorite salad broth when it's like this. Mm. Strong lemongrass flavor, just like that aroma. We have that curry leaves in here. We've got some tofu. We got, looks like some pork skin chicharron, but it's more moist. Chopped up long beans, bean sprouts. But our favorite of all are these beautiful cockles. It's actually the first time we ever ate cockles in our lives right here at this stall. And this kind of changed our perception of curry meat forever. It's got that beautiful briny, like oyster-like flavor. I just love cockles. You could just make a whole bowl of curry meat, cockles, we'd be happy, but time to go and try the noodles. We got our nice yellow noodle right here, the yellow meat. love the yellow meat in here. She asked if you want some bihun as well, but we wanted to stick with the yellow meat. It goes so perfect with this broth. Uh, it's a nice texture. Cook perfectly, not, not too firm, not soft. It's kind of got a slight al dente texture. Man. This curry meat is excellent. It's just as good as we remember it from three months ago. Wow. are at Songki Beef Bowl Me and look at this noodle right here. Mm. I have to wash out all that noodle with this soup. Let me taste this by itself. Mm. It already smells delicious. Wow. So we have tripe, thin sliced beef, and of course beef ball. It was really old school gem. Been here 75 years, right off the Chinatown here in KL. We got here, it's the minced beef. It was really interesting, the minced beef, you know, arrives just like that with some greens. Looks like it's kailan perhaps. We mix it up with the noodles, they're like the thin wonton noodle style. And they also give you the bowl of soup, it comes with the beef ball, the tripe, and the sliced beef. I'm actually gonna go ahead and try a little bit of the minced beef by itself first. Try. Mm. Simple, but it's got a rich, beefy flavor. Get the noodles mixed in nicely with the beef. Now I'm gonna give it a bite just like this. Mm. I love when you mix in the greens with it too. There's a little bit of freshness. 
And it's nice because it's like the beef's like mild, but still very beefy flavor. And it's, it really coats these noodles quite nicely. The noodles are just nice, springy, not overcooked, not undercooked, like right in the middle where it should be. It's really tasty. Now, time for the soup. It's got a very clear broth, but let's taste the broth by itself. Mm, really beefy. Beef's nice and tender. A little bit of uh, fatty bits on there too. I like that little kick it adds. Yeah, these are good. The vibe here is like old school kale. I love it. You even have an old picture on the wall of the shop back in the day. So this place has been here for a long time. Definitely a staple here in Chinatown. So happy it's back open. We can dine in again. The dreaming of this spot for the last few months. Alright, we got our Lala Bihun. So Lala is the small clams right here. And Bihun, the rice noodle. We do a lot of the rice noodle here. So it's awesome to watch them make it. They're chopping up the fresh ginger over there. And you can see there's tons of ginger shards in this bowl. And you can see them just putting all the ingredients together. It gets this really interesting color broth. It's like kind of a tan color. And it's cooking the clams fresh. Adding, I believe it's rice wine and a lot of other ingredients you want to get into. Never really seen a soup quite like this one before, so let's give the broth a try first. That broth looks like there was a lot of work put into it. It smells very aromatic. So good. And we asked for it spicy. We asked if you want it spicy. You always gotta go spicy. Man, this broth has got that, the flavors of the clam. It's got some rice wine in there. It's got that gingery flavor. It's just very fresh. It's like not a heavy. It's like a very light, but still very flavorful broth. Wow. This is a must try here. Oh, the, the lala, the clam, tastes so good with that fresh ginger. That ginger gives it a real sharpness, real fresh, cuts through it. You know, I love that sharp ginger flavor with that fresh clam. It's so good. Serious noodle lift here. We hold a great noodles for this broth because it really soaks up the flavors of that really rich broth. This is how you're gonna want it because even the all the broths are kind of trapped in these beehoo, it's kind of soaked it and absorbed it. That all these harmonious ingredients, you have that minced garlic, you have ginger, you have that rice wine in the broth, you got those fresh clams, a nice fresh seafood taste, you got the green onions. You know, it's got a good spice level when you ask for it spicy, but they do also have the sauce here. You can add more. This has just got, it's one of those definitions of like harmonious dishes, just all the ingredients working well together, it's not too heavy. You can really taste all the layers of flavor in here. This is, this is incredible. One of the best soups we've ever had. First time I tried this, I was blown away. Second time, even more so. It's amazing. It's well known here for a reason. This spot's been here 1956. It's Kopi Town. Definitely come when you're in Chinatown. Check them out. Get the Lala noodles. You won't regret it. for another beef noodle. This one is a dry noodle. We have the mixed beef, which has the beef balls, the tripe, and beef meat. This, this is one of our favorite beef noodle here in Malaysia. Mmm. is an old school spot here in KL Chinatown. It's been in business since the 30s. It's been in the same family for multiple generations. And I like the way this spot does it a little differently. So you could get it a few different ways. You can get the beef noodles in a soup, 
You get the beef noodles in two different ways. You get it either in a soup or dry with soup on the side. And you can choose from your noodles. You can choose from the hor fun, which is the flat rice noodle, which is what we got. Or you can get the bihun, or you can get the yellow mi. You got it this way. This is the way we've had it a few times, and I love the way when you mix it up with that minced beef. And you add some of that hot sauce to it too. It's lovely. Look at that. I love this style of noodle. Take a big bite. Mm. Those horfun noodles are so silky smooth. It really pairs perfectly with that minced beef. And when you mix it all together like that, the minced beef coats those nice slick rice noodles. And you have that hot sauce, that little bit of kick. That little spiciness, little garlicky, little sweet. This is awesome. This really like kind of gives me a feeling of like I'm eating like a bowl of like, fettuccine bolognese in a way, but on a whole different level.